Hello friends. Today in this video, we are going to see about clearing the checkboxes. For example, if the checkbox is cleared like this, so there should be a button to clear this or to reset this. So for example, if at all if I click it here, so here the check mark is removed. So this is what we are going to see in this video. Let's go to file, new, new project. Now select empty template. The name we can give us clear checkbox. Click on finish. Now let's select activity main.xml. We'll remove the default text. Let's now add two checkboxes. So this is my checkbox one and this is checkbox two. Now we will add the buttons. So one button is a submit button and we'll add another button for resetting it. So now let us give the proper namings. So for the checkbox one, we'll give the text as car and the checkbox ID, we can make it as checkbox one. Similarly for checkbox two, we'll give the name as bike and the checkbox ID is already checkbox two, it's okay. Now let us rename this button as submit, submit button and we'll name this to button one. Next we'll add the other button as reset and the button ID is button two. Now let's go to the coding. At first we have to create four variables. Like here we have added four items, right? Car, bike, submit and reset. These two are buttons. So we'll define this four variables using latent parameter. So latent variable car and the type of this car is checkbox. Similarly latent variable bike. So here for the variable name we can give any name and the type is checkbox. And again latent variable submit and the submit button type is a button and other variable reset and its type is button. This is step one. Step two is we have to identify the checkbox and button. For that we'll use car equal to find view by id or dot id. So car is checkbox one. So we'll select checkbox one here. And similarly bike equal to find view by id or dot id and bike is checkbox two. Next is submit. Submit equal to find u by id or dot id and find us button one so we'll select button one similarly for reset reset equal to find u by id or dot id and the reset button is button two so we'll select button two so now we have mapped the button ids to this variables next we have to define the reset function so reset is a button so we have to define an on click listener for it so in this reset function, we are going to define as reset dot set on click listener. That means when the click is made on this reset button, what is the action that needs to be taken? So here we are defining a if condition that once the button is clicked, then it will go to the if condition and the if condition is for car. So if car is checked, that means if the car checkbox is checked, this is the action that will be executed. That means car set checked false. That means it will clear the check tag from car. Similarly, we have to do it for bike. So we'll add another condition if bike dot is checked. So this is a function. Then the condition is bike dot checked. The function is false. So here it should be in capital C. Okay. Now our code is ready. We can execute and we can verify it. So we can run the emulator. So the emulator has started and we got two checkboxes and two buttons. Now we'll check out car and we'll check out bike and let's click on reset. So now both the buttons got resetted. This is very, very a simple program. So hope you guys understood the logic behind the creation of this program. So in case of any doubts, you can always feel free to Ask your doubts in the comment section. 
also please do subscribe to this channel so that you will get updated on the new upcoming coding techniques thank you